you've like always stayed in touch with like the DJ community. Always had um, you know you always do shows with people and, uh, and collaborate with people. What are your thoughts today on the DJ community in the Bay Area? Uh, it depends because there's it's it's once again it's like a tree where it branches off into all these other different things and more. Mm-hmm. And so like for me, I'm 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 heavily into this, the scratching. Yeah. So playing it like a. Uh, a musical instrument. So I, I, I look at that all the time, that kind of more category. Do you feel like um, there's still, because I feel like there's a lot less kids these days that are into that part of it, the scratching and the turntablism. It depends. Like for me, like, because my feed is is all that. So to me, in my world, this is a gang of people doing it. Right. But if you're not really in tune with it, you might not, it might not go in your feed. It's just like kind of whatever you click on, it's the algorithm will be like, okay, he just got like seeing this shit. Yeah. So it's going to only, you only be fed that. Well, now, yeah, I guess that makes sense because now you're seeing people around the world that are doing some of these techniques Huge and some of these of, styles. It's almost if, if you was playing yo-yo and you click on yo-yo shit, all you're going to see is yo-yo yeah. guys doing tricks. That might be kind of tight. Yeah, <laughs> right. Instagram, <laughs> yo-yos on TikTok. Yeah. What, what is your approach, man, to the discipline of learning this craft? Because you take it so seriously and you've dedicated so much time to it and you've, innovated so many styles like what's your approach to, to to that so i started getting into scratching and i wanted to keep knowing what's the highest level what's higher than that and it was it got me into like jazz music and classical and all this indian tabla music and i was like okay what's what's in outer space what do they got kind of music over there and it was like you start learning about all this stuff from from extraterrestrial life and what type of instruments they play and what how does it connect to to scratching and all that so i keep on uh translating that into scratching so i started learning all this crazy outer space shit and um i don't even know what the question was i went into outer space uh, it's kind of getting there you're kind of answering it like your approach to the to craft oh right 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 so yes it's it's um it's that now it's like it's more of a connection to god now it's like it's it's the highest is you find out that we're all connected to god anyway so now you just got to use that so it's like oh it's that simple we all have a um uh a, a aspect of god flowing through us and you just gotta use that and then take that as your advantage because it's going to be different for everybody, a different God branch of the tree. I like that, man. Amen. Because I feel like no matter what you're doing creatively, it's important to stay grounded in something that's bigger than yourself. Yeah. I mean, the ultimate happiness is to give and the ultimate evil is selfishness. So it's like, okay, well, I'm a, I'm a, I like to be happy. So when I give, it makes me happy. And so it's like, I'm going to do all that, the spiritual stuff with the giving. So it's like, oh, that's the, that's the secret. That's real simple. Yeah. Well, your art is an offering to the world. Yes. And it's crazy. You never know how it might affect people. I'm sure you've had people come up to you like, you're scratching, saved my life. And you're like, what? How did I? Very, very interesting. Like you could save like people who got cancer, it cures them. Or like uh, uh, that. And when that, when I learned that, I started talking to shamans. They were like, yeah, when you scratch, you got to scratch. And all at the same time, imagine the energy of healing coming out of you and healing people. So I was like, damn, I didn't even know it was like that too. Damn. Yeah. I must, if I if I have a kid, I'm going to, like, play your records while they're in the womb. <laughs> they don't so, come out like a red worm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just put some headphones on the belly and see what happens, man. Uh, do, you, do you practice every day? I got to now. It's like a samurai now. You got to, like, you got to do it every day. It's like, and because and, if, I, if, I, if I slack off, it goes back a little bit, two, three days. But when I practice every day, I get rewarded with, oh, okay, you just learned something new. Boom, boom, boom. It's like, a, you know, like if you're going to get stuck on video games, you'll go to a higher level every time. It's like, oh, that's the thing. It's like, oh, wait a minute. Life is a video game. And so it's like I translated that whole, that bad habit of video games into this is now my game. And it's, it, it's beautiful. I like that, man. I've, I've, um, I have a lot of friends who've like struggled with addiction and um, other destructive habits. And I just be saying sometimes like, bro, just find your thing. Yeah. Find your thing to replace that with. Because uh-huh. if you approach something that you love, whatever it is, it could be collecting stamps. <laughs> yes. It could be making beats. It could be basketball. It could be cars. If you put that type of energy into it, you'll you'll get so much out of it. Yeah, it's just bringing heaven to earth. Like if you collect stamps, at least show it to people. Like you look at my stamp collection on Instagram. It's going to be like heaven on earth. Somebody's going to be like, oh, that's kind of... Somebody's going to fuck with it, yeah. I'll be like, look at these stamps. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. And I, when in our conversation, I hear a lot of like you challenging yourself and and trying to 
constantly get better. What's like mm-hmm. when you were first starting out, like how many hours a day were you just cutting shit well, up? Well, it's high. What is it? The 10,000 hour thing? Mm-hmm. The more you do it. But at the same time, it's like if you're having fun, it don't mean the time just goes by. So yeah. it don't matter. So if you love, if you find that thing that you love to do, just do it. Just, the 10,000 hours is going by, go is by it, quick is, anyway. Is this something that you could just literally spend all day doing? Yeah, it, Kind of, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then the, the to the level I'm at right now, if I, the, you could hurt yourself. So you got to be gentle too. So you got to, all right, this guy's saying you got to do gentle scratches now. Oh, yeah. So it's like all this other stuff. Oh, you gotta yeah. Do you feel like wrists, um, any effects on your wrist or anything at this point? If, if I overdo it, yes. Overdo so now it. it's at a level where it's like, well, you, you could do all that for a while and then you got to do like the soft stuff. So this is all these levels now at, at the, at the point where I'm at is, is, um, uh, so many categories to cover as you're practicing. So someone, uh, I, I read this one thing. It was like this, this person, they don't even practice no more. They just, they just play now. Just so it's play, like, I'm, just, I'm at yeah. the point where I could just play just with all the toys. Yeah. 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 But I, I just, the more I do it, I, the more sharper it gets and the more cleaner. It's almost like calligraphy, right? Gra- it is graffiti, but now it's like the more you do it, the more you could make your lines like, you know, you could draw them better. Yeah. I love that. I mean, <clears throat> in most of my interviews, I, I talk to artists who are older than me and people who've been doing it longer than me and so many of them I find are like still driven to do this like a lot of graffiti writers that are still trying to get better like you could be a master at yeah. this and do all types of amazing things with a spray can but there's still so many more techniques it is it's like whatever you could imagine it's like okay like if I, if I meditate or real quick if I just close my eyes and think about how music would sound like scratches like how God would do it yeah. it's like <laughs> Man, I got a lot of work still. Yeah, for real. Recognize where you got the game. We got our own style, got our own slang. Northern California is a West Coast thing. This is the history of the Bay. Recognize where you got the game. We got our own style, got our own slang. Northern California is a West Coast thing. This is the history of the Bay.